Hey, my name is Alan Merville and welcome to Music Tips. Today, we're talking about a trick that can help you figure out chord progressions on the fly. Let's dive in. So this trick we're talking about is the Nashville number system. Now you may hear me refer to it as the number system at times, but all in all, they're both the same thing. The Nashville number system is a method of transcribing music by indicating the scale degree that the chord is built on. It was developed by Neil Matthews in the late 1950s and used as a trick for musicians to figure out chord progressions on the fly. So whether you're a studio musician, a touring musician, a church musician, or just jamming with friends, this is a real life and useful tool that will definitely come in handy. So before we go through the specifics and all the music theory components behind how this all works, let's first see it being used in action. And then we'll go through our step-by-step -step process and learn how to implement ourselves. Hold it. Six. Three more. Five, six. Seven. Three, four. Five, six, two, three, four. Pick it up. Five. All right, so that was C Dub and his amazing band. What you might have noticed, uh, there's some nuances in there with like inversions and half steps which today we won't get into. Today we're just gonna talk about the fundamentals of the number system. But what you might have noticed from that clip are the musicians communicating with one another. So this wasn't something that was rehearsed. They're using the number system to tell each other where to go harmonically. So that's one of the ways that the number system can be used in real life. The other two ways is by transcribing music or charting out music. Okay, so now let's go through our step-by-step -step process to learning how to use the number system. So step one is knowing our major scales. So that's super important because everything we're gonna be talking about, the chords, the notes, scale degrees, triads, it's all gonna be built off of the major scale. So sometimes when you see the number system, you may see numerical digits like one, two, three, four, five, and things of that sort. But for today, the way we're gonna learn the number system is by using Roman numerals. The reason why that's important and why we're gonna use Roman numerals is because Roman numerals tell us two things. They tell us the location of the chord within the scale, whether it's at the one, at the two, at the three, the four, the five, six, or seven. And they also tell us the harmonic value of the chord, whether it's a major harmony, a minor, a diminished, or if it's seventh chords, the major seventh, a dominant, a minor seventh, or minor seventh flat five. So quick recap, Roman numerals tell us two things. They tell us the location, of the chord within the scale, and they tell us the harmonic quality of the chord. So regardless of what major key you're in, whether it's C major, C sharp major, D major, whatever the major key is, the Roman numeral system will always be the same. It'll always be one major, two minor, always three minor, four major, five major, six minor, and seven diminished for our triads. So that's important because that means we only have to memorize one Roman numeral number system, or one Nashville number system. But like I said before, the important thing is you got to know all of your major scales. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and see you next time. Hey, so if you like that clip, click here for more and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more music play content.